Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the top 5 best budget tablets in 2019. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. To see the price and find out more information about these tablets, you can check out the description below. Also, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest technology reviews. Ok, so let's get started with the video. At number 5, it's the Huawei MediaPad T3. Tablets are looking like a good alternative for replacing laptops, and with lower price points, they are really an attractive option. Huawei tries to bring good value with nice camera specs to its new line of budget tablets with the MediaPad T3. Similar to other Huawei tablets, MediaPad T3 follows suit with its anodized aluminium backplate, a really fashionable choice. While the sides are covered with plastic, it feels very nice in hand, giving it a luxury and premium feel. The whole case is uniformly built. While the liquid crystal display is not 100% protected, it's not overly unstable and it's justified in its price range. The screen format, which is 16x10, makes the tablet a little square when compared to other models which mostly feature 16x9 screens. While not being the thinnest around, it's not especially thick either at 8mm. It feels light with 460 grams of weight and it's very portable. The display is only 9.6 inches diagonally, making it a little smaller than its competitors. However, this makes the Huawei MediaPad T3 easier to handle. With an HD resolution of 1280x800, the image looks pretty mediocre, but it's not a big issue. Compared to its class, the image is pretty bright and the touchscreen reacts smoothly. Considering the Huawei MediaPad T3's price point, we get a surprisingly good speaker in the bottom, offering nice sound quality. It comes provided with micro SD and micro USB ports as well on the sides. The front-facing camera has a resolution of 2 megapixels and the main camera is 5 megapixels and fares surprisingly well in given situations. Performance-wise, the Huawei MediaPad T3 comes packed with Qualcomm Snapdragon 425 SoC with a quad-core processor with all the cores clocked at 1.4GHz, also 2GB of RAM and a 16GB internal storage. However, the system already occupies 7.5GB of storage out of the box. Its processor is also not the fastest around, but it does its job pretty well. You may notice some stutter when you have a lot of stuff going on, but it's not a major issue. The tablet fares well in battery tests, having averaged a solid 9 hours in non-stop HD streaming. All round, it's a decent tablet with solid performance, suffering no major weaknesses when you look at its price point. This is a reliable side piece for business and entertainment. At number 4, it's the Fire HD8 tablet. Manufacturers tend to create feature-filled devices to justify their prices, but there is a market for people with simple needs, like a multimedia tablet for in-home leisure use. Meet Amazon Fire 8 HD. If you do not need a tablet for heavy-duty tasks that you mostly will stream videos on and some light gaming, with its incredibly low price tag, the Amazon Fire 8 HD is a great tablet. While being an ultra-cheap tablet, Amazon's Fire 8 HD design-wise doesn't look out of date. It's not thick, nor heavy, and it doesn't come with an ultra-wide screen. It's designed for home use, a durable laptop that you'll leave under your couch without a worry, and it looks the part with its colour schemes, especially the yellow. It looks particularly cosy and just screams downtime. The display quality on the Amazon Fire 8 HD is pretty nice actually, with good colour, but not a lot of sharpness. The colours are especially good, something you'd not expect in a device of this price point. It produces mediocre brightness and mediocre contrast, but the touchscreen is exceptionally good and pretty responsive. Amazon's Fire 8 HD comes equipped by a quad-core 1.3GHz processor and 1.5GB of RAM. It cannot be considered powerful, but it's not particularly designed for heavy use. It has enough to overcome casual tasks. Battery life is not superb, but it's not something to be complained about, with 10 hours of battery life in web browsing. This year's camera is also upgraded to the 2 megapixel from last year's 0.3 megapixel, which made the human skin look greenish. Capturing details is a great camera for your Skype sessions with your friends and family. Where this tablet really shines is in its software aspect. It runs Android's modified version Fire OS. 
This is basically the same Android system with a few tweaks to suit Amazon's needs. With this iteration, we now get voice activation via Amazon's digital assistant, Alexa. Alexa works very well in this device, clearly understanding commands and questions, even answering them correctly. It's the only recommended device at this price point, as it does basics with ease and comes with a voice-activated Alexa. At number 3, it's the Samsung Galaxy Tab A8. Samsung has always had the tendency to keep the prices rather high for their entry-level devices, so it's pretty surprising to see that the Samsung Galaxy Tab A8 is relatively cheap with high-quality components, which gives it a great value. The design of the Samsung Galaxy Tab A8 is not similar to the other Samsung tablets. It's available in gold and silver. It has a metal back with very good build quality. Although it does not give the premium feel, it's relatively light with a weight of just 364 grams while not being the thinnest out there at 8.9 millimeters of thickness but it's right there with the competition. It may be a problem handling the tablet with smaller hands, but it's not an issue whatsoever. With a display size of 8 inches diagonally and a resolution of 1280 by 800 TFT display with 189 PPI, it's the same that you can find in the competition. The display is pretty good for streaming videos and films. The viewing angles are pretty wide and the brightness is superb, so it would not be an issue using it in direct sunlight. Though the screen is not fully laminated, leaving a small gap between the touchscreen and the IPS panel. Equipped with Qualcomm Snapdragon 45 quad-core processor, with the addition of 2GB of RAM and 16GB of internal storage, of which roughly 7GB is used by the system straight out of the box, it's not a major issue because there is also a micro SD slot. In benchmark tests, it's achieved a pretty good score compared to its counterparts. The system runs smoothly between apps allowing for even light productivity. While it's not a dedicated gaming tablet, it runs most of the games smoothly, and in other more performance-demanding games, you will notice some stutter. The Samsung Galaxy Tab A8 comes with a battery capacity of 5000 mAh that's been tested to run about 12 hours in HD streaming. Pretty good considering the price of the device. In day-to-day -day activities, it's also fared well with an astounding 52 hours with light use. It's a very nice and good tablet for family use that would not age as fast as its competition. With good performance marks and remarkable battery life, it's a solid choice for a budget laptop. At number 2, it's the Asus ZenPad Z8S. The small tablet market is not really gone thanks to the Asus ZenPad Z8S. The Asus ZenPad Z8S offers a pretty good small tablet with LTE, which is very rare to find these days. And with exceptional design that can be used for multimedia purposes such as streaming, it's a great addition to your arsenal. The Asus ZenPad Z8S is only 6.9mm thick and weighing in at just 303 grams makes it the lightest 8-inch tablet so far. The competition has not come near that weight. The tablet has a pretty sophisticated and modern look. It has a matte gunmetal shade aluminium back with matching sides. The back also houses the 13 megapixel back camera. The glossy banding on top and bottom of the backing looks exceptionally good with the matte part, giving this tablet a premium feel. The construction feels sturdy and solid, not one aspect was overlooked. It features a 7.9-inch IPS display with an extraordinarily sharp resolution of 2048 by 1536 and the colours really pop, so it's a joy to stream movies on this tablet. You can see a lot of details in the image and everything is crisp and vivid. However, the aspect ratio of 4 to 3 adds black bars that frame HD videos, but it's not an issue that'll cause a lot of bothers. The sound on the tablet is also superb with its dual speakers, and it's going to make sure to fill a small room with good bass and nice treble. Coming in with Qualcomm Snapdragon 652 CPU and 3GB of RAM, the ZenPad Z8S offers solid and reliable performance for everything you throw at it. In the Geekbench full synthetic benchmark tests that measure the overall performance, it has outclassed most of its peers. And in the graphics test, it's also outperformed mostly all of its competition. While the battery is not exactly on par with the other aspects of this tablet, it cannot be considered poor. In the continuous web surfing test, it lasted a solid 7 hours and 45 minutes. While budget tablets tend to have rubbish cameras, the Asus ZenPad Z8S comes with the best camera on an 8-inch tablet. The 13 megapixel back camera captures most of the scenarios with excellency with little to none background noise. The front facing camera is a 5 megapixel decent camera, good for Skype sessions. 
This is a speedy multimedia laptop with a nice price to top it all off. With a very nice and bright display, luxurious design and over-the-top performance, it's a deal that must be considered. And at number one, it's the Lenovo Tab 4 Plus. Tablet models are becoming rarer every day with the advancement and bigger screens of our smartphones. It seems like there'll be no need for tablets anymore. However, Lenovo has succeeded to put an amazing model to its lineup with a Lenovo Tab 4 Plus. It's the undisputed winner of its class. Lenovo's Tab 4 Plus is a nicely designed tablet. While not the most stylish choice, it's not a hideous tablet either. Lenovo has opted for the glass back, staying away from the trend of full aluminium backs. The glass back makes it slightly uncomfortable to hold for longer periods of time. The sides are metal clad, but the top and bottom are plastic. It looks as though it's a budget design choice. The tablet is designed to be used in landscape mode, with the home button and Lenovo logo sitting horizontally on the screen. Surprisingly for its price point, the Lenovo Tab 4 Plus has an amazing screen. With a 10.1-inch IPS LCD display with a good 1920x1200 resolution, the image is pretty sharp, colors are vivid, and the viewing angles are wide enough for multiple people to watch simultaneously. It has also nice outdoor visibility. In addition to all of this, the contrast is pretty good too. The Lenovo Tab 4 Plus has an octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 CPU with 3GB of RAM and 64GB of expandable storage. The performance from this tablet is pretty good for almost everything, while not being overly power consuming. It'll run most of the games without a problem and smoothly too. The speaker quality is pretty good in this tablet. You'll get through most of the situations without the need for an external sound device, offering you a fairly decent sound quality. The battery capacity sits at 7000 mAh, which gives a 12 hour runtime with HD streaming. It should give you a battery life of around 50 hours of realistic moderate usage time. The cameras are pretty decent too. The 8 megapixel back camera is very good for quick takes of documents or for taking quick pictures of your children. Also, the front 5 megapixel camera is impressive for video chatting. Yes, it may not be the most exciting tablet, but it is a solid all rounder that can tackle every task you throw at it. And with a price point, it's a bargain, so it's extremely recommended. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to